Hollydale Sun families and students, Miss Jules here. I am back for another Nature and Me class. Today we're going to be talking about friendships and how we grow our friendships, how we nurture them, how we make friends, and how we appreciate them. So I want to jump right in. Um, I am back at my funny little dresser desk right here. Got all my supplies ready. Got my colored pencils, which you'll want. Um, some scissors. I have a stapler. Don't forget, you can always use a stapler safely or with an adult or glue or tape, whatever works best for you. We do have a little craft we're going to be working on. So you'll want something to color with, some scissors and something to stick things together. Tape, glue, scissors, whatever works for you. Okay, well, I want to just start off with saying welcome back. I hope you enjoyed our Lunar New Year celebration last week, and I hope you made your ox lanterns. I really want to see some pictures, so if you do have some, feel free to post them. I would love to see them. Now, today, I just want to talk about friendships, and our friendships, we can be friends with our classmates at school, maybe friends that we've known for many years. We can be friends with people in our family, or you can be a friend with your teacher, or there's so many, so many people that are our friends. And so today I just want to talk about how we keep our friendships and how we make them better, how we let them grow. So a friendship is kind of like a garden or a flower. It needs things to grow and get better and be healthy and happy. So uh, let me, let's start with this. I wonder if you could take a moment to try to think about what it is that plants in a garden need in order to grow. What things are important for them to be able to keep growing taller and get healthier and have more leaves and petals and seeds and all of that. Maybe even think back to last term um, when we did Taking Care of Our Planet Tuesday, we talked a lot about what plants need to grow. We tried growing some seeds and different flowers. So I'll give you a moment. If you want, you can even type in a comment and say your guess as what things do plants need? Now there's a few different things they need, but I'm going to talk about four basic ones. And those are sunlight, water, space, and soil. So our plants need to be planted in soil. It needs the nutrients and the vitamins and all of those minerals and everything in the soil. It also needs sunlight to grow and that's what it eats up for energy in something we call photosynthesis, which is a whole scientific lesson that you might have already started learning about, or maybe you haven't quite yet. It also needs water because just like it needs to eat or absorb energy for sunlight, it also needs water. And, it, and lastly, it needs space. So if we planted all of our flowers so close together, they wouldn't have the space to actually grow bigger and healthier. And they would be competing for space in that garden. So they would not turn out the best. Now let's talk about our friendships. We want to keep our friendships healthy and growing. And I'm curious, just like a garden, what would you do to tend to those friendships? For example, if you become friends with someone at your school, do you just walk up to them and say, okay, we're friends, and then never see them again? I mean, you could do that, but is it really a friendship if you're not spending time together or doing things to make your friendship stronger and better? So I'll give you an example of something that I, I use to grow my friendships and to make sure I am keeping an eye on them and taking care of them. And that is that I try very hard to be kind to my friends. So sometimes I get frustrated or 
get upset. Maybe you and your friend get into an argument. That's understandable. We're all humans. That happens to all of us. Um, there are no emotions that are bad. Emotions just tell us something about how we're feeling and maybe what is happening in a situation. So it's okay to get frustrated with a friend. What I always try to remember is to be kind. So I like to make sure that I'm kind to my friends so that they feel good and I feel good. And that helps my friendships grow stronger and be better, just like a flower. Um, I have a little worksheet here that I would love for you all to get out of your folders. It says, how do our friendships grow? All right, I'm going to turn my nifty little camera like so. And let's read. How do our friendships grow? To keep our friendships healthy and growing, just like a garden, we must tend to them. This is a, a word you might not be familiar with. That means we must take care of them, pay attention to them, work on them. Plants in a garden need sunlight, water, space, and soil to grow. What do your friendships need? Now, here in this column, I've written what? What is something that your friendships need to stay happy and healthy and growing? And then I also put here, why? Now that might be a little bit trickier and I just want you to think on it. You don't have to come up with a perfect answer. And maybe you wanna think on it before you fill it in. That's totally okay. So down at the bottom, I've written some ideas if you need help getting started. I started with kindness, honesty, fun, forgiveness, understanding, and laughter. You can almost think about a friendship like a recipe. What do you need? Like a cup of kindness, a teaspoon of laughter. I need a lot more than a teaspoon of laughter. I love to laugh. So <clears throat> friendships are kind of like recipes or gardens. They need things to help them grow, to help them become better and healthy and happy. Now, in case you don't know, let's go over these words at the bottom. We talked about kindness, being kind, being nice, being gentle with, with our friends. Honesty, that means telling the truth. Now, there are many ways to tell the truth. You could say, you might say something like, hey, that game was really boring. And yes, maybe you're being honest, but is it kind? I'm not so sure. What's like a kind way you could say something like that? You might say, hey, I'm kind of hoping to play a game that's a little bit more exciting. Can we take turns and I'll choose the next game? There's so many ways we can compromise or come to meet our friends in the middle so that we're being kind with them. And being honest is important. It's also about telling the truth to your friends, not keeping secrets or telling lies. What about fun? I think we all know what that word means. All friendships need fun. Of course we have fun with our friends. That's why they're our friends. Forgiveness. Now this is a big one because I make sure, I try really hard to make sure that my friendships get I also put forgiveness into my friendships because just like I said, we're all humans. We all make mistakes. We all do things that make us feel sorry that we did them or regret them. And when the other person is ready to forgive you or you're ready to forgive them, being a friend and trying to understand maybe what someone else was feeling can help us forgive someone. Now, if someone really hurt you, it's okay if you're not quite ready. <clears throat> it's okay to say that really hurt. I might need a break for a little bit before I play with you again. But forgiveness, if we want to keep our friendships and keep them strong, is an important part. Understanding, trying to understand or 
think about how your friend might feel when they do something is so important because if we only think about what we would do and how we feel, it would probably be hard to keep our friendships happy and healthy. Now, laughter is another one. I, all of my friends and I love to laugh. We have so much fun together, which is why I like to add that one. But there are so many other ones. Um, there are, you could say, hugs or hmm, maybe games or being generous. What? One way to think about it, if you're having a hard time coming up with what things your friendships might need to grow, try to think about one of your friends and think about what things they do or what things they show you that make you feel really good. I love when my friends take time to listen to me when I'm having a hard time with something. I could write listening. So up here in the box, you're going to come up with, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven spots, but you can do as many or as few as you want to. Think about what your friendships need to grow. I'm going to say good listening. Why? It makes my friends And I feel heard and cared for. So write as many as you want to. I would love to see your worksheets when you're done. I wanna know what things your friendship garden needs to grow the most. You know what? Maybe, kinda of like a regular garden, your actual friendships need space. Sometimes I like to take a break when I spend a ton of time with my friends because I need to just like go home, have a break, recharge my batteries in my brain, in my body, and then I'm ready to be a really good friend again and to spend more time with my friends. So once you get this worksheet done, I would love if you would grab this one. I won't forget my name, Miss Jules. And it says, I am a friend when. So maybe you'll use your first worksheet to help you come up with, in what case are you a friend? I am a friend when I listen, am kind, And I try to be understanding. Your answer could be anything. You could say, I'm a friend when I help my other friends have fun, or I make my friends laugh, or I'm a friend when I give my friend a hug when they're having a hard day answer that you feel like works for you you can write down and up here I want you to draw whatever you want you can draw what you wrote maybe you can show you being a friend or some when someone else was a good friend to you maybe you can draw a garden like this Add some grass. Now I'm just using a pen. You can color this to your heart's content. I'm gonna draw a garden and then maybe I'm gonna write what everything is. This flower is kindness. This flower is honesty. This is your space to be creative. You can draw whatever you would like to draw. Now, lastly, I have a craft for us. I want you to start by brainstorming all of the things. Actually, let me back up here. 
I want you to start by picking one of your friends. It can be any of your friends. It could even be your brother or your sister or someone else who you have a friendship with. And I want you to write down all of the words you can think of that describe your friend. Maybe they're funny, maybe they're kind, maybe they're silly, maybe they're outgoing, maybe they're a good listener, or um, maybe they are super duper duper shy. And then I want you to look at that list and pick out which things about your friend make them a good friend to you. Once you have that list, let's see, let me use a good piece of paper. Once you've written down all of the things that your friend is and then circle each thing they are that make them a good friend, then I want you to get out your last two pieces of paper from your kits. Let's see. And we're going to cut out all of these pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget what Miss Jules always says, which is Perfect is not the goal. We do not need to cut everything perfectly or do everything perfectly. I just want you to have as much fun with this craft as you can. Okay, this is going to be the stem of my flower. Now I'm gonna cut this leaf. Once I get it all cut, I'll show you what the project is. I wonder if any of you ever had a moment where maybe you didn't feel like the best friend that you could have been. What happened? Maybe think on that. What happened? How are you feeling? Was there a reason why maybe? I sometimes can get very frustrated and cranky if I'm not eating on time. If I wait too long to eat, I get a little hangry. That's hungry and angry squished together. And sometimes it doesn't make me a very patient or kind friend in the moment. Luckily, my friends are very forgiving and they try to be understanding. And I try to remember to take care of myself and be a better friend by making sure I carry some snacks with me so I don't get that way when I hang out with them. Right, two more. If your friendships were a garden, what flowers, plants, fruits, and vegetables would be in there? This is something else you can comment on the video if you want to. I would love to hear it. I think in my friendship garden, there would be strawberries because all of my friends are very sweet. Maybe a couple rose bushes for the times I get a little prickly. <laughs> okay, so now once you have all your eight pieces cut out, you have two options. You can write on the dark sides or you can flip everything over 
and write or color on the white sides. What I want you to do is in the middle of your, this is the middle of your flower, I want you to write the name of one of your friends. In fact, I want you to write the name of the friend that you wrote that long list of things about, all the ways you described your friend. So I'm going to write my friend Edwina. This is a very, she's a very close friend of mine. In fact, we live in the same apartment. Now I'm just going to do a very quick coloring. You can color as much as you want to. You can put as much detail in it as you like. I just want to put a little bit to show you all. Now next, you're going to pick five, one, two, three, four, five, five of those words you circled. So for Edwina, the words I would have circled for things that make her a good friend is that she is honest, she's a great listener. You can write these, you can kind of arrange them around your flower if you want to, like this. So you kind of know how you want to write it. She is kind. She is so much fun to be with. And I'm going to say she's understanding. All of these things are what make her such a good friend. Now you can color these whatever color you want. I think I'm going to go for purple. I'm going to go for kind of a crazy flower do all my petals different colors kind now again i just want to show you all what this looks like normally if this was a super long video i would color everything in hmm, maybe i'll even do green on this petal oh definitely need to do red. Okay. Now I'm going to use my stapler and staple my petals on. Glue is another good one to use for this. Staples not the best. Oh no! This Jules ran out of staples. Well, this is a good example of how things don't always go perfectly, but that's okay. I will scoot some things out of the way and show you all what this is going to look like when you get it done. All right, so you have your friend, your friend's name. You have the five things about them that make them a really good friend. Next, again, you can color this green if you want to. You can leave it gray. You're going to put your stem down here. And your flower, or excuse me, your leaf, wherever you want it. So I'm going to put mine like that. Glue it all together. Staple it all together. Or tape it all together. Now you have a beautiful friend flower. Now, you can keep this for yourself to remind yourself. You can give this to your friend. Don't forget to wear a mask and socially distance. Maybe a parent could help you mail it or drop it off, or you can save it to give to them the next time you see them. There's totally no rush. Maybe a parent or a guardian or an adult in your home can take a picture of it and send it to your friend. So many options. But one great thing about friendships, one important thing about friendships, is telling our friends how much they mean to us and why they're such a good friend. That's just another way we grow our friendships and make them healthy and happy and even better is by reminding our friends, hey, this is why you mean so much to me and why I like being your friend. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's Nature and Me class on growing friendships. 
I hope you get to give your friendship flower to one of your friends and I hope they really love it. I hope you liked your worksheets and everything we did today. I can't wait to see you back here next week for another Nature and Me class. It's a bit of a mystery. I'm not going to give you any hints yet, but don't forget to like and comment on this video. Um, say hello, show me a picture of what you did. Tell me what you want to see in another Nature and Me class. I would love to hear from you. And that's all. So I will see you all next week. Stay safe in this winter weather out there. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.